who is tracking our social issues. I am personally getting tired around how we treat social issues in Nigeria. We quickly move on from issues with no conclusive outcome on these issues. I'm still here asking these questions. What happened to Ini Umaring? What happened to Sylvester? What happened with the NSARS movement? What happened to thousand other issues? These issues generate national and even international attention, thanks to the power of Twitter. But we don't follow up on the outcome of these issues. How can justice really reign if we continue on this path? How do we hold the government accountable? This is our typical case scenario. A rape issue goes viral. The government is brought into it. They make a few statements. The issue is forgotten. Everyone moves on to another trend. Can we really come together and hold relevant stakeholders accountable to these social issues? We need to follow up till justice is fully served. How can people be bold enough to speak up when they already know how the outcome would be or what the outcome would be? How do we move from here as a people? Deep. Victor, <laughs> 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 you go first, I think. <laughs> this, um, this is very interesting because I, I was reading online about government releasing the five people they arrested on the case of Sylvester. Mm. And just like that, by February, I'm sure the school will reopen back and then it's like nothing happened. Let's mm. keep moving. Nobody to hold accountable. And thanks to the government, mm. the government has tracked again so i'm th me i'm not i'm not encouraging violence just um PSA, putting it just to be clear yeah just to be clear but we handling our issues by ourselves it has actually been more effective than the government handling it for mm. us like the sylvester uh, sylvester case like you killed someone's child someone has to be accountable mm. if the government won't help me and my community people will help yeah. me and my me god and everybody will help we will mm. we will find we'll get to the bottom of this case we'll find the person responsible someone will pay mm. for this crime but if we keep going to the government or still relying on the government that has failed us back to back on the promises on the primary things that they are supposed to provide they failed us mm. on those things and now we want to rely on them to give us justice mm. and it, it's like a joke like they can't give us justice. We are even fighting them to get to get like our freedom from these people. That's where the enter case came from. So why are we going to the same people for justice? Mm. Do, do, do you see like this um, with this Sylvester Sylvester's case. case? I'm very passionate about it because I have younger brothers. Mm. I'm very very passionate about that case, and I don't want to go into it and then incite violent or start saying like you should pay people to do i don't want to go into it but like in that on that case in that situation i'm sorry myself and my family members will take matters into our own and government has released these people they've done whatever they want to do but that school won't reopen until someone is held accountable mm. if it were me and my family but i'm not going to incite any violence and i'm not going to preach like go for yourself ignore what the government mm. say I'm not going you know, to you know, like, Victor. I've always come from this point, and <coughs> and this is why we always uh, let me copy our vice pres mm -hmm. president. Why we are where we are, where we are, where we are, where we are, whichever. <laughs> but that's but the truth is, like with the answers, same mistake with Dawn College, same mistake. And I'll tell you what the mistake is. It's very simple. You cannot hold a government accountable when you don't understand how governance works. Hmm. First, second. You cannot hold a government that does not understand its job as government accountable when they don't understand what they are doing. That's, that's second. <laughs> and as long as those two prevailing factors keep occurring, yeah. you have, I'll give you an example. You have, let's say, a, there should be a senator covering that jurisdiction. Yeah. I don't want to ask who the senator is. I, mean, is I, I know the senator, but I'm not going to ask who's, who. Okay. Um, senator is legislatively responsible for the kind of laws that are within that place. So now, let's say your senator has served, give or take, 14 years in the Senate at the cost of over 2 billion. 
and in an alliance, in alliance alone. And proposed bills is zero. And you people think the senator should remain because the senator has been there. How do you now want to get the kind of laws that will enable that when issues like this that happen in Darwin College happen, mm. someone is held by the law? Mm. Yeah. Do you understand? It's, it's related. So as long as that keeps happening and you are saying, ah, oh, go, or that funny actor that is in the Lagos State House of Assembly, uh, who I will refuse oh to name, God. but <laughs> how many bills has he proposed? I get you. He's oh, talking well. about executive functions, which is a bridge. As long as those people do not provide the relevant laws to, for the country to function, the failure of the country will continue being evident. You're pointing at governors and presidents. Trust me, we're supposed to be pointing at the legislature. Mm. Thank That's you, Kenley. Right. Elijah, what do you have to say about well, this? <laughs> this? This is You see, what I'm saying is the Igbo way of saying I'm tired of all this. Mm. So what I'm saying is, um, first things first, you cannot take laws into your hands because we have a government. So no matter how hungry you are as a citizen, that's just the law. You can't take laws into your hand. We still have to hold the government responsible. Then secondly, you talked during your conversation earlier, um, your talk, you talked about the government having restructuring something. So we know we have, most times you see the government acting as a jury witness and what a judge in his own matter. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. How can the Ministry of Justice be independent? Of the, um, I think I stated. Yes, that. I yes. said as long as the president yes, yes, appoints the attorney general, they are not supposed to do that. Not going, the attorney general is put at the general minister, of, minister, of, minister of justice. It's not supposed to be. The attorney general is supposed to be on his own. You can work. Your job is to advocate or for the presidency, right? As Mostly. minister of justice, mm -mm. the attorney general. No, the attorney general is to uphold law Laws, in the yeah, country. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. But the, the, that office is supposed to be um, a distinct office. So yes, yeah, distinct independent. Office. But, yeah. but two, one person is handling both. It's like conflict of interest. That's very fundamental. Uh, and then you cannot have... We just have to have an independent justice system to see through things like this. To hold government accountable. But how can you even have an independent justice system when your police is in inside Ministry of Interior instead of under the Department of Justice? This is the Department of Justice. And this is the Department of Justice in some claim. This is the when of um, when Fashola went to do the investigation after I entered. At the Lekki Tower Gate. Yeah, yeah, picking mm. up the camera. Like it's so. That, he went to perform Jagbawa duty. This government is. Oh my God. <laughs> well, oh all right. But God. I still think we have to keep holding the government responsibility no matter what you do you cannot take laws into your hand mm -hmm. what our appeal to the parents of those victims is keep going to court keep dragging them one day justice will be served you uh, can't take laws into your hand that's uh, just the truth yeah and i get that but when you say one day justice will, will be served it's not five years it's not ten years yeah it could be tomorrow only if right right when they change everything when the whole system change when I they should just keep pushing they can't take laws into their hands so right that's it. right all right, Ubuntu poses I am because we are. Anything that happens to one of us happens to all of us. So it's important that we collectively, you know, come together and be a bit more intentional with how we follow up on these social issues. Elijah is next after the break. Just stay with us.